How's it going, YouTube? Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to save and load variables are because I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of people actually question on how to do this, and it was a big problem for me when I started scripting RPGs and all that because, like, I always had to start all over again every time I opened the program, and yeah, that kind of sucked. So, um, so to start off, what you're going to do? I'm just going to create a folder because when you save the when you save a variable. Um, when you save some variables in the program it saves to the same destination that that program is in to a different file um, so if you put in a folder put the RPG in the folder it'll save in the same folder as the RPG um, so first I'm just gonna make a new notepad um, I'm using notepad++ plus plus. Uh, normal notepads fine it just doesn't color it like this um, so start off with the title load save color 1f um, uh, echo one start new echo 2 load echo set p right so that's the first screen um and that's the choice for the first screen. Um this is the second label. Uh, um no I'll do that later. Um, I'm gonna set the fir the three variables that we're gonna save. Num one um num two and number three. Oh, my bad, hang on. And then start. Okay. Num one. Oh, no, number one. Number one. Echo. Number two. So now that's done. That's the second screen that'll just display the variables. And now we're gonna change the variables so we so it like shows it like you can change the variable, load it, save it, and then yeah, you know what I mean. Um, set a num one equals percent num one. I'm just gonna add random numbers to them. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so. Save. So, by doing this, you're taking these variables, num1, num2, and num3, and you're putting them into this file. And if that file doesn't exist, it'll create it, and it'll create a file called save.sav. You can change that to what you want. You could change it to, like, hello dot, like, boo. Like, you can change it to what you want, but I just save it as anything dot sav, because, like, save is easy to recognize as a save file. So and then the load screen save dot save so now we're loading it so it's kind of the opposite way around and we go set p number one instead of echo and that's it Alright, so now just save it as anything dot bat. In my settings file. Save load dot bat. So. So now. When we use it, I'll start a new one.
Oh my bad. Hang on. Oh man, I'm so stupid. Very bulls. <laughs> Obvious mistake. All right. Now I'll change the numbers, and then I'll change the numbers again. All right. So now it auto saves when once the numbers have changed. So now the numbers are seventeen fifty five sixty five. And now there's a new file there. Seventeen fifty five sixty five. Okay, if I start new, it should be 10, 20, 30. And if I open it again and load, 17, 55, 65. Alright, so there, you know how to save variables. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and sub.